It's the previously unreleased Caretakers Array from Star Trek Voyager by Eagle Moss Hero Collector. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek Edel Moss Hero Collector model and magazine review. This time this is special number 30. This is the unreleased Caretakers Array from Star Trek Voyager, from the pilot of Star Trek Voyager. This is from... You know what? For a second I've, I've completely gone out of my head what the actual pilot was. So, I'll, I'll leave that for you guys to put in the description. So, yes, the pilot of... of, of of course, it's called Caretaker. Oh, so here is the model. This was actually unreleased. This was planned. This was whatever. There are a few coming through. The Stargazer, which is also another video I've reviewed already, is one of those. They planned it. They got it made, and they never sold it to us because they went bust. Okay, fine. These things kind of happen, but not to worry. So. We finally have it, over a year late, but not to worry. So we have the um, picture of the model. Uh, it's okay, I suppose, it's not sealed, but I don't think the Stargazer was either. So yes, fine, happy, usual gubbins box from Edelmoss. Sold to you by Master Replicas. I've also got videos online for other Master Replicas releases, and this is gonna be released uh, Wednesday night, I think it is, or Wednesday morning, and there is a drop. On the Wednesday night on MasterReplica.com and Friday night as well for some new stuff as well. I've also got a video for explaining exactly what, what that is. So, as I say, not sealed. Quite happy. So let's go. Oh. Okay. That's different. There's no magazine. So, yeah, there's black foam. This, to me, kind of screams out. Why is that like that? This kind of screams out that the model was produced, but the actual magazines weren't. So this is what worries me about the Build the Enterprise D model, is I found the PDFs for 1 to 26. We only got released 1 to 21. Some people got 22. I don't know whether or not they've got number 27 onwards. So we'll find out later. So this has another ring one on this for, for the, kind of like the Jupiter station where it's sat on two sides. This is, I don't put them on that anyway. So this should be an A slash A. Right, it's 1384 A slash C. So I'm a little bit puzzled why it's not on first. Oh, sometimes it's not really worth the effort. So it's definitely different. It's sponge more than, okay. There's two parts here. Edelmoss didn't do these like this. Why is it like that? Okay, maybe these need to be pulled out now. They used polystyrene and I hated it. Only the top end models actually got the sponge with it. This is proper normal black sponge, which is kind of funky, kind of sexy. So let's get that over there. I can put that in there. Is there actually? Okay, this feels more plastic than anything. So let's put that on the side there. What if there's a magazine underneath this? Oh, hold up. No. So no magazine at all. So I'll just have to waffle over what's on Memory Alpha. Do apologize if you don't like my waffling. If you do, like, share and subscribe, follow me on social media and consider being a Patreon so you can help me buy all this stuff because this is absolutely skin to me now. So, we have the Caretakers Array, made by the Watch Aliens Worthies. I don't know what aliens they were, but they were protecting the Ocompa because the Ocompas were poor, poor little children. They were poor and, and, and the Kazon wanted to kill them and take all the resources. But it turned out that the um, Ocompas were, were absolute sods. When they actually evolve a little bit, as um, Kess did, they were absolute evil psychotic murderers. Oh, hey-ho. <laughs> they weren't really. There was there was certain bits on the storyline and different timelines and stuff, which is quite weird for the um, Ocompas anyway. When they had a, I think they said a five-year lifespan, or was it a seven-year lifespan? Don't know. But one or the other, it was kind of 
she was going to die before the end of the series, so let's just ship her out. So, yeah, right. <clears throat> Ignore me waffling a minute. Told you I had to waffle. This is why I need the um, magazines. So, right into the... No. Right into the... Bridge Dome section, is it? I don't know. This is very... Bendy. I mean, it's nice. I'd expected this by seeing other people's magazine... Oh, well, uh, thingy arrive. Model arrive. And this was going to be broken. That's what I expected. But it's all in one piece. It all is... I thought it was very fl fragile. However, it's actually very flexible. It's a very thin plastic. And I can't think what's... I think this ring here is metal. It does feel a little metal. I'm not sure. I think both sides actually are metal. So only the, the, the donut in the middle is actually metal. Rest is plastic. The only bit of detail is the yellow marking underneath there. A little bit of yellow wind is on here. I don't know about this, you know. It's it's it still gets me a little bit why it's a it's a starship's collection and this is a space station or an outpost, should we say? I mean, there's, there's some nice little, um, let's try and get in a little bit better. There we go. My dodgy. There we go. That's it. Thank you. So we have... That's a funny feeling I'm going to drop this. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of much detail. When you're getting close to it, and this is this is silly little oats. This is not, I'm not, I'd say about, about four inch away from the actual lens but we can see pretty much everything we need to anyway center part there i can't keep still because i'm that close but you've got these these um lovely little array parts they're all well they're not all the same but they're all kind of different hand behind to try and focus there is some interesting little bit of details on there. Whether or not it's intentional or not, I don't know. It's like hands. Hmm. The yeah, centre part there. Bridge section. Well, the, the, the main bulk top area, big cut, cut down the middle there. It's very odd. And then either side are these absolutely stupid stupidly massive winglet sort of things but still it's a very odd pattern that's i'd probably say this is maybe built together by sprues from model kits which i'm not sure whether or not voyager start voyager didn't start off yeah it didn't start off cgi i think it kind of ended cgi but this would have been an actual physical model well, these are more mainly just a, a, a section being made out and then filled in with probably plastic sprues from model kits. The stuff that you throw in the bin. Let's turn this around. More detail underneath there. Let me go for the bottom of the ship. Well, <laughs> station there. And you've got this really weird kind of... Looks a little bit like the Deep Space Nine underneath section, the power station. And all these aren't the same length. It's kind of odd. It does look like a bottom of the Deep Space Nine, doesn't it? On on some level, shall we say. I'm, I'm not going to put it out that it definitely is. But, yeah. I'm not sure what was it. I don't think these were the weapons at all, were they? I think it just shot out from one of these arms or something. I don't mind this. The thing with Eagle Moss is, is, is they started out really good and then went rubbish and then went excellent and then went meh and then went absolutely immense and then just petered away very, very quickly until we were stuck with something like this as one of their last models that they had ever released. Which is nice. I just don't think it's something I'm... <sighs> Uh, I'm trying to find the words for it. I don't think it's just something I wouldn't... I did buy, but I don't think it's something I actually would have wanted to have bought. But still, it's different. It's definitely different. A massive... Yeah. It reminded me a little bit, for some reason, the Epsilon 9 station. That would have been immense if they'd have done that. That would have been so fragile if they'd have done that one. 
yeah, they did Starbase 1 and Jupiter Station and, and Deep Space 9 and K7 and all sorts of stuff like that, but if they'd have done, if they'd have done the Epsilon 9 station, that would have been ridiculously good. But yeah, I think it's a grow with this. It's, it's a background model that you could quite easily just fill in the gaps and pretend it's the crystalline entity. I mean, if I had the choice, would I buy it again? I don't know. Is it in my top ten? Definitely not. Is it die cast? Barely. Mainly plastic. Is there a lot of detail on it? Yes, there is. Is there too much detail on it? I don't know. It's, it's what the designers made. Was it... I'm not sure who actually designed the caretaker array. Was it John Eves? Was it somebody else? No, I don't know. I'm trying to look on actual memory alpha and can't see at present. Hmm. Affiliate. Nassine? Affiliation was in Nassine, so it's in Nassine array. Nakane. Oh, sorry to, if I pronounced that wrong, I don't really know. So, there we go. Caretaker's array. Long waited. Was it worth it? Was it worth the wait? Probably not. But still, it leaves me down to 12 models. 12 potential models. De ignoring all of the XLs from the Star Trek collection, I am just missing 12 models from all of the Star Trek collections. The shuttles, the, um, the, the universe, the discovery, the online, the standard, everything, everything, apart from the XLs, I am 12 models short. Two of those are potentially, um, well, they, they did announce that they was gonna do them, but there is no mock-up of them at all, no actual physical done, here it is, we're gonna get it into production. So possibly 10 left to do. There are two that are definitely very hard to get, one that's virtually impossible to get, and a few more which kind of were the last ones and I missed out on. And potentially, maybe coming back to Master Replicas, potentially may have to charge, well, be charged an absolute fortune to get them. But there we go. That's the Caretaker's Array from Voyager episode Endgame. And I think there was another one. Oh, was it a Voyager Conspiracy? Possibly. A pair of tri cobalt devices. Yep. Yeah. Yes, it was in a couple. Yes. So, there you go. Stop me waffling. Please like, share and subscribe. Just follow me on social media. Please consider being a Patreon. I'll put your name on the end of every single video. And it helps out the channel, helps out me like you have never known. Links are in the description below. And with that in mind, I will see you in another video. Bye for now.